Hey guys, it's Lauren from The Express Lane, and today we're talking all about accountability in the workplace. Now, when it comes to working in teams, accountability is critical for balance, right? You know, if you have one employee that's putting forth more effort than other employees on the team are, that employee that's putting in more effort is going to end up feeling burned out. They're also probably going to become a little bit resentful toward the rest of the team because they don't feel like the rest of the team is necessarily pulling their weight. Because typically people that don't want accountability don't tend to actually take on much responsibility. So if you do end up introducing more accountability into the workplace, you might actually see some of these employees step up and put in a little bit more effort due to that accountability piece. And when I was prepping for this video, I kept thinking about this book that I read not too long ago. Um, it's called The Culture Code. It's by Daniel Coyle, and it is The Secrets of Highly Successful Groups. And this book is all about teams. It's about sports teams. It's about teams in the workplace. It's about military teams and what makes these teams so successful. And a lot of it comes down to accountability. And I'm going to do a little play on words here and call it an I can count on you ability because that's really what this book focuses on. It's these groups, these teams that have complete trust in each other, no matter what trust that their teammates are going to show up to work every day, that they're going to put in the effort every day and that they're all in as a team. Now, of course, that's a little bit easier said than done. And I've got a quote here from the book that I wanted to share. It is from Amy Edmondson, who studies psychological safety at Harvard. And the quote goes that we have a place in our brain that's always worried about what people think of us, especially higher ups. As far as our brain is concerned, if our social system rejects us, we could die. Given that our sense of danger is so natural and automatic, organizations have to do some pretty special things to overcome that natural trigger. We see countless examples in this book of times where accountability actually strengthened a team, allowing them to be able to depend on each other and work together to achieve their goals. So how do you start creating a culture of accountability in your workplace? Let's take a look. Now, the first step is to make employee accountability a priority, because if it's not a personal priority for you, it's not going to be a priority for your coworkers or for your employees either. It comes down to creating an we're all in this together type of mentality and environment where everyone understands how they're contributing to the team and what their piece of the puzzle is. Because if you're missing a couple pieces of a puzzle, you can't really complete the picture, right? And there's another quote in the book from LeBron James, where he says, selfless, guys move, cut, pass, you've got a shot, you take it, but it's all for the team and it's never about the individual. Which really takes us right into our next step, which is accountability for the team and really understanding the overall company goals and company mission. Because if an employee can't easily connect to the overall company mission, it's going to be much more difficult for them to hold themselves accountable to company goals. Providing employees the opportunity to share feedback, as well as even provide ideas for how they might achieve those goals, really gives them a voice um, and lets them feel like they were really a part of the process when it comes to accomplishing these goals. Now, providing clarity on these goals is just as important because if an employee doesn't understand what's expected of them at work, how are they supposed to actually accomplish these unspoken tasks and hold themselves accountable to completing them? When a new task or a new project pops up at work, try having your employees actually repeat the task back to you and even have them come up with a few ideas of how they might accomplish that task. And once you've established those tasks, you want to actually set deadlines for those tasks. And deadlines are really important because if you have just kind of a rough approximation of when something is going to get done, it makes it a lot easier to sort of push it off to the back burner, especially when day-to-day -day fires or more urgent tasks pop up. So setting deadlines for both you as well as tasks for your team can help keep everyone on track in terms of their own self-accountability as well as team accountability. And if that deadline is months down the road for that project, you might want to consider incorporating 
micro goals. Now we talked about micro goals in our first ever YouTube video, and these can be really great for accountability because when a product is that far out down the road for a deadline, or if it's really progressing slowly, it can be really difficult to, to hold employees accountable and for employees to hold themselves accountable. So if you have little milestones, these little micro goals that you're setting, it can actually add up to being a quick win for your team and really boost their morale to keep going on this project. And in addition to setting micro goals, you'll also want to set up regular status updates with your team. So whether these look like every other week meetings, whether these look like one-on-ones, whatever it happens to be, give your team an opportunity to meet with you, to ask questions, to go through feedback, um, but also give them the opportunity to give you an update on their part of the project, a quick status update so that everyone in the team knows where things are at. And the last step for building employee accountability is definitely my favorite, which is celebrating success. Recognition of your team's accomplishments can go a long way and be a huge motivator. So if you wanna actually take some time at the beginning of a big project to create an incentive or to you know plan a party, even if it's like a team lunch, something small, whatever happens to be, this success, looking forward to it throughout the project, really gives your team that extra boost that they need to get the project done, knowing that there will be a celebration at the end. And the last kind of bonus tip that I wanted to just touch on when it comes to accountability is really all about feedback. And it's not just about manager feedback like we talked about in our last video. It's also about your feedback from the team and feeling comfortable to give feedback as well as receive feedback in a team setting. And the last quote that I wanted to close out the video with comes again from Amy Edmondson. She is the one who did the first quote of this video and it really centers all about feedback. She shares, one of the most vital moments for creating safety is when a group shares bad news or gives tough feedback. In these moments, it's important not simply to tolerate the difficult news, but to embrace it. You know the phrase, don't shoot the messenger. In fact, it's not enough to not shoot them. You have to hug the messenger and let them know how much you need that feedback. That way you can be sure that they feel safe enough to tell you the truth the next time. We hope that this video will give both employees and managers alike a few ideas to start creating a culture of accountability in the workplace. And a simple way to get started is to actually download our project accountability template in the description box below. It is a two page template that's absolutely free to use and it will really help you lay out your next project and make sure that you're holding your employees accountable for that project. I'll also go ahead and include a link to Dana Coyle's The Culture Code in case you want to download this and give it a read for yourself. That wraps it up for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you back here next Wednesday where we bring you even more tips to help you get your career in the express lane.